It took mankind less than a century to realize that digitization and technology is the future. Two nations collide with all their might when it comes to becoming the world's technological epicenter, the U.S. and the People's Republic of China. When it comes to artificial intelligence, China is already ahead of the U.S. in terms of usage, but the country is also trying to get ahead in the development race. But how? To answer this question, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's dig into five key elements that will keep China ahead of the U.S. in the AI game. China has the largest population in the world. But while many countries try to implement population control measures, China sees it as an opportunity. Why? Because China found a way to turn demographic diversity into industrial diversity. China's service sector represents more than 54% of the economic output in 2020, while manufacturing and the industrial sector represented nearly 38% of China's GDP in 2020. China specializes in producing a wide range of goods, including steel, car parts, chemicals, electronics, robots, textiles, clothing, shoes, processed foods, toys, and more. But how does all of this give China an edge in AI? Now, listen to this closely. Imagine what happens when every industrial sector becomes a contributor to AI. Firstly, the usage spectrum increases, and this is actually the point where they beat the U.S. in terms of usage. And secondly, they get a development and testing framework. The Boston Consulting Group's recent study Study titled Mind the AI Gap, Leadership Makes the Difference, published back in 2008, tells how they are doing it. A staggering 85% of Chinese companies are actively engaged in the AI sector, surpassing their counterparts in seven other nations examined in the study. The criteria for active participation, as defined by BCG, encompasses companies making tangible progress in AI by integrating it into existing processes or successfully running pilot initiatives. China's AI dominance can be traced back to its comprehensive New Generation Artificial Intelligence Development Plan, launched in 2017, which is evidently yielding robust results. The study, based on interviews with 500 Chinese companies, reveals that the 2017 plan has had a cross-industry impact, significantly influencing the success of AI piloting, adoption, and overall initiative outcomes. The success is distinct from the dynamics observed in the United States and other nations because China's lead is not monopolized by specific industries, but but reflects a holistic national commitment to AI innovation. Talking about nationalism, China's government plays a big supporting hand when it comes to AI. And considering the growing use of AI, the government changed its policies. On August 15, 2023, China implemented a new law to regulate generative AI. This law is groundbreaking internationally because it's the first one specifically addressing generative AI. It imposes new restrictions on companies offering these services to consumers with a major focus on the training data used to generate outputs. Now, you may think that China is tightening the air for AI with its strong regulatory approach, but that's not the case. Certain requirements like fixing illegal content within three months and ensuring the truthfulness and accuracy of training data and outputs have been removed. Looking at the broader tech policy context since late 2020, the Chinese government has been using various tools such as antitrust and data security enforcement as part of a tech crackdown. This crackdown, marked by actions like Jack Ma's disappearance after criticizing regulators has now been lifted. Instead, there's now a greater emphasis on domestic tech innovation, aligning with China's economic challenges. These rules collectively mandate that generative AI services must adhere to the core values of socialism and not attempt to overthrow state power or the socialist regime. The Chinese government now plans to act more like a provider to this digital revolution. Developing AI consumes a lot of power. The Chinese government plans to increase its computer computing power by 50% by 2025. AI also needs semiconductors. China's government has investment plans for increasing the country's own semiconductor prowess. The Chinese government approaches AI as a strategic matter. They ensure in-time policymaking. They set ambitious and quantifiable targets and allow for inter-ministry coordinations. More importantly, timely release of funding for research and development is ensured. China is open to international collaboration and expansion in the AI sector, as evident from its participation.
participation in global AI governance initiatives and the development of international standards. Not only that, China plans to invest heavily in AI companies around the globe. In correspondence to the New Generation Artificial Intelligence Development Plan, the Chinese government is investing significant sums, totaling billions of RMB in AI. Various funding mechanisms are employed, including subsidies and government guidance funds. Subsidies are distributed through competitions facilitated by public-private collaboration platforms like the Artificial Intelligence Industry Alliance, or AIIA, enabling the government to identify and support promising tech startups. iDeepWise, which, after winning an AIIA competition in 2018, received $75,400 in cash rewards and $3 million in R&D subsidies over three years. As of 2022 data, 2,107 guidance funds have been established with a target size of $1.86 trillion, but a 2023 report revealed that they had raised $940 billion from private and public sources, which shows that they are on the road. Raising funds for public and private firms is not easy. They're on it because guidance funds offer several advantages over subsidies and tax incentives. China plans to become an investor in 85% of global AI firms by 2030. To pursue this ambition, Chinese investors are redirecting their focus toward promising AI companies around the globe. As ridiculous as it may sound, startups from the U.S. have received the major share along with countries like Australia, India, and Japan. In Southeast Asia, Chinese investors are less active compared to their U.S. counterparts, although investments in the region's AI landscape has progressively increased over the past decade. China's tech giants are foregoing commercial AI links primarily in Singapore and to a lesser extent Indonesia and Malaysia. Artificial intelligence serves as the backbone of robotics by providing the underlying intelligence and decision-making capabilities that enable robots to perform tasks autonomously and adapt to changing environments. So one thing is for sure, where there are more robots, there is more usage of AI. China is a flourishing ground for robotics. The Chinese nation as a whole takes hardware way more seriously than any other nation around the globe. But how are we making this claim? Obviously, after watching what was on display at the 2023 World Robotics Conference, China's overall robot industry is flourishing because they are trying to make robots for every application. They are already testing robots in classrooms and manufacturing units. They are using AI and robotics-based cameras on the street for surveillance. China's automotive and electronic sector continue to lead in robot applications, and the development of humanoid robots is experiencing a surge. If we talk about the numbers, there are now 392 robots per 10,000 workers, reflecting a noticeable increase in robot density. In the initial half of the year, China witnessed a 9.6% rise in the production of service robots, amounting to a total of 3.53 million sets. In 2022, the operational revenue of China's robot industry surpassed 170 billion yuan, which accounts for $23.3 billion, maintaining a consistent double-digit growth trajectory. Jin Guobin, the Vice Minister of Industry and Information Technology, emphasized China's leading position in the global robotics market, citing diverse application scenarios. Industrial robots have enhanced efficiency and safety at Shanghai Ironworks, where temperatures exceed 50 degrees Celsius. These robots have reduced labor intensity and increased safety, with one worker overseeing operations through remote commands. At Baosteel, robots have replaced 65% of on-site operations, with over 1,250 specially designed robots across four production bases. But why is China so good in robotics? This is because Chinese government has been actively supporting the industry, aiming for a revolutionary leap to fuel economic growth. The Chinese government also provided generous subsidies to support the adoption of robots and other automation technology, making China the world's largest market for industrial robots for eight consecutive years. The Ministry of Industry and Information Technology also showered light on China's ambitious goals to become the most robot-intensive country in the world by 2025, with plans to establish robotic industry zones to double the intensity of robot manufacturing. But why? The answer lies in rising labor costs and demographic changes in China, which now demand rapid adoption of technology, in turn leading to increased need for industrial robots. As we stated earlier, China's population is its biggest strength. But to put the strength to use in AI, China needs to develop experts. They have already started the proceedings with programs like STEM and others, but they are also targeting the grassroots level. China already has a strong foundation in AI breakthroughs in core technologies such as speech recognition, visual recognition, and Chinese language information processing. But the country still faces a gap in top-tier talent, especially in the areas of 
hardware and algorithmic development. To address this issue, China has been investing heavily in the development of world-class AI skills and has implemented various education and training programs to enhance its AI capabilities. China has been actively merging education and industry for which the country has established collaborative research centers that bring together academia and industry. The government at every stage encourages partnerships between educational institutions and AI companies. These partnerships allow students to gain real-world experience through internships, joint research projects, and participation in industry conferences. China's educational sector has also implemented specialized AI education programs at both the undergraduate and postgraduate levels. These programs are also designed in collaboration with industry experts to ensure that students acquire practical skills and knowledge that are directly applicable in the workplace. Do you know what all of this leads to? Job security for Chinese citizens. The Chinese government knows that AI and related technologies are expected to displace around 26% of existing jobs in China over the next two decades. This transition will require millions of workers to switch careers and possibly locations, creating considerable disruptions to current labor markets. However, the long-term net effect of AI on jobs in China is expected to be positive, with great opportunities for business investing in AI and related technologies. This will not only lead to more jobs, but also increase the development pace to cope with increasing demand for AI-based products and services in the country. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more tech news. What do you think about this AI uprising? Tell us in the comment section below. We've made another video talking about the seven stages of AI. It's on your screens. Click now and we'll catch you there in a moment.